Well, more protests calling to defund police. Today, the Boston City Council is set to vote on a revised budget reallocating some police funds, but at least one councilor is already speaking out, saying it just doesn't go far enough. Nick Giovanni is live in Boston now with the latest. Nick? Kate Mayor Walsh is calling this a strong, responsible budget, proposing to reallocate $12 million of BPD's overtime budget to programs that focus on racial equity. And if it does not get approved, the mayor's office warns that it could mean layoffs. That said, we do know of at least one city councilor, as you mentioned, that's already promising to vote no. Councilor at large, Michelle Wu, says the mayor's new proposal makes slight changes from the pre pandemic budget, but doesn't, quote, represent the type of transformative investments that so many community members. Members, activists, and residents are reaching out for. Went on to say our budget should represent meaningful change, not empty symbolism and budgetary sleight of hand. City Council President had this to say about what needs to be done earlier this week. I think there is this opportunity to do something different. We don't want to keep nibbling around the edges. People don't want incremental change. We need big, bold, progressive, radical change. According to the mayor's office, Boston's facing a $65 million budget shortfall because of the toll COVID-19 is taking on the economy. And if a budget's not approved in time for the start of fiscal year 2021, which is technically July 1st, the city will move forward with essentially a month-to-month -month budget based on this past year's spending, which means none of the new proposals would apply, including that reallocation of BPD's overtime budget. Boston's chief financial officer says that could also mean, again, layoffs to try and offset any potential budget deficit. Live in Boston, Nick Giovanni, WBZ This Morning.